Morning friends, my name's Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayers here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now's an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our memory verse for today comes from our second lesson, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. But Jesus has now obtained a more excellent ministry, and to that degree, he is the mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted on the basis of better promises. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, as promised in an earlier chapter, the author of the Hebrews is starting to really dig into what he has called solid food, something about which he has much to say, but is hard to explain. And to teach us this difficult yet rewarding information, he is using what could almost be described as a sales pitch. You thought that was great? Well, let me show you something even better. It's a useful thing to keep in mind as we work through this text. There is a hint about how this line of thinking works when we read about the old worship that was offered in a sanctuary that was a sketch and a shadow of the heavenly one. If we think about Moses in the wilderness and how he was instructed to erect a tent in which to worship God, then we can see how God was giving Moses a hint about what the eternal heavenly temple is like. This is why our author today talks about Jesus, the high priest, as a minister in the sanctuary and the true tent that the Lord, and not any mortal, has set up. In the past, we had human high priests who had to cleanse themselves before being able to cleanse others. They had to offer sacrifices for themselves as well as offer sacrifices for others. God had given humanity a way to cover sins, which was excellent, but it was through the blood of animals and it had to keep going day by day. But something more excellent than the blood of animals is the blood of Jesus. As has been established earlier, Jesus was made perfect through his obedience and suffering. And so his perfect and obedient blood was offered up once and for all as a sacrifice to cover the sins of his people. There is no more need for the shadow of the tent in the wilderness or the sketch of the law that required the blood of animals. As excellent as that was for obtaining forgiveness of sins, Jesus has now obtained a more excellent ministry and to that degree, he is the mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted on the basis of better promises. Let's pray. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. But in the meantime, may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.